Hello and welcome to the episode 16 of Beer Review and today we have a Belgian dark uh, strong ale it's called Trobador Obscur it has 8.2 alcohol content and it's, it's uh, actually supposed to have some specific glass for it from what I looked into internet looks something similar to the tulip glass I don't he really have a glass like that and the closest thing I have is this so it is almost like a tulip glass but for tulip glass you would have small stem as a below part of it so I will guess I will use this one I'm still not, not entirely sure what this glass is for it was kind of advertised for the brown beer so I guess it is dark beer so it's brown beer so as I said this beer is from the Belgium and I'm quite actually a big fan of the Belgian beers and also uh, according to some description of it it has a malty character, roasty flavor and some mild bitterness and little chocolate touch to it so this produces four different types of malt so we'll see how it goes it's the first one of the day okay no I'm lying it's not the first one of the day but technically it's like first real beer of the day so we will open it up and rate as usually for but with four different things like a smell, foam appearance and the taste and I guess it all will be posted into the rate beer page. So let's open it up. Oh, one more thing. It's actually bottle fermented so it may explode. I hope it does not. It did not, so that's good. So this is the bottle cup, looks, it could be generic for this brewery but I don't think I, I have had any beer from this brewery so it may be real, it may not be so I guess that's nice, we'll put it aside here as a reference for our focus and we'll start with our first thing and it will be the smell. Okay, so it's like medium strong, some bitterness and some dark chocolate notes to it. So, so the next thing we usually write is foam. So let's see. So it's medium thick, uh, quite soft. I have some coffee notes, some rose notes, and some bitterness that ends up with sweetness. Interesting. So the thing we will do right now, we will pour it in and see how it goes. Please don't overflow. I guess it did not, so that's good. But the foam seems to be large. So, as we can see, it is like espresso, coffee, color, brown, white foam. So, I'll write about that and see you soon. So, we're back, and I guess now we will see for our appearance. Foam seems to be chilled out, so we will see appearance of it seems to be dark half hazy brown or red brown red or something like that so yes seems to be it's not not completely black so it is half hazy brown color so it also does have some carbonation at the below part of it so anyway we'll go with our final thing it is the taste of it, I guess the f most important part, so let's see. Feels good, so let's see. Okay, it has some weak roasty sweet taste, some roastiness, some very weak bitterness, some um, creaminess as well to it. Interesting beer, I like it actually. It does have some coffee and chocolate notes. 
Tasty beer roads. See? Maybe a little bit of alcohol content to it as well. So let's go to the our final ratings. We will open our page, rate it, and let's see if with aroma. See that's uh, six appearance. The bottle is simple. Does look nice, but as I previously decided, the appearance usually I won't really write uh, rate beers based on its color because it's racist. So we will regarding appearance we will usually take the appearance of the bottle and the bottle cap and in this case the bottle cap I like it so it will be four if there is nothing that really impressed me and the beer itself looks like a beer so I guess I'll put three so in this case I'll put four so the taste of it I think I'll put seven let's try once more that's a good beer so I will put uh, here a 7, here also I, will, I will actually think about it regarding taste because beers with tastes of 5 and taste of 7 is a huge difference and regarding taste of 6 I usually put the most beers that are drinkable so it is according to cost slightly more drinkable of course I cannot really kind of compare it to the, my of some of my favorite beers like Rochefort Traffices 8 I think it's my favorite one so I guess I'll leave the 6, 7 I mean mouth feel it does feel good in mouth so I'll put 4 here and overall score I think I'll put as let's try it once more I'll put 15 here so Final score for it is 3.6 and it is a little bit below its average score but, but that's what I rate it for so anyway thank you for watching hope you liked it I will have a few more beers to try I still need, need to kind of edit videos and put them on my YouTube channel so I don't know really when it will go out because at the point of recording I really haven't really uploaded video regarding glasses so there's not really anyone watching my videos anyway so also good so thank you for watching see you soon bye